Peace, family. Welcome back to another video with Credit Healing LLC. Today, what I want to do is I want to talk about something that I think is very, very important to you all, and very personal, and that thing is your social security cards. Now, we've been asked a question from many of our credit healing clients who have just signed up, and they may say, well, I don't have my social, but I do have my driver's license. Um, I don't have it. I lost it. Or some of have even said that their wallet was stolen um, or that the social was stolen. And they say, well, you know, what can I do? You know, how can I sign up if I don't have it? Well, first thing is that I want to answer that question. From you, what we need is we'll need either your social, your driver's license. If you don't have those two, then what we can do is we can accept your passport or a utility bill. So if you have a passport or utility bill that we can actually use that to begin the process of disputing your derogatory items. Now to your social. It's very, very important to keep your social near and dear to you because you don't want your identity to be stolen. Um, and we make sure to protect all of our client information. And by God's grace, we've never had any issues with social security cards being breached or stolen. Um, we make sure to take care of that because we don't want to jeopardize our integrity um, and we want to make sure that your identity is protected. Now, in regards to your social security card, if you don't have one, then you should get one. What you can do is you can go to ssa.gov forward slash my account, and I'll put that in the description below. And once you go there, you can create a free account. Now, once you sign the application online, uh, what you'll do is once you fill it out, you'll enter in your information, but you have to submit some proof of identification. And that proof is such as your driver's license um, or a birth certificate or like a religious document um, that proves that you are who you say you are. It shows your picture. Um, it also shows your uh, birth date as well as, you know, you're going to need to be able to provide your social security number as well um, to be able to get into your account and create an account. Now, you may ask, well, um, well, how long does it take for, you know, for this to be sent to me? It takes on average around seven to ten days after that. Um, so after you fill out your application, it takes around seven to ten days to receive your social, and then you're not going to have anything to worry about once you receive it. Uh, now, in regards to making sure that your identity is protected, once you get your social, especially if your social security card had been stolen, then you want to make sure that you go online to Experian.com, TransUnion.com, and Equifax.com, and you freeze your account, um, and we talked about that in a previous video, and you also put a fraud alert on your account, because the last thing you want is for whoever has stolen your social to be able to apply for credit cards in your name. You don't want that to happen. So, you want to make sure to put a fraud alert on your account, which basically sends out an alert to all the creditors to let them know that hey, I have you know my identity have been breached, and I have not, and I, you know I want to make sure that my identity is protected, and that no one applies for credit in my name. So make sure to do those two things. Go to you can go to uh, Experian. If you can type in Google, you go to Experian Freeze. Um, you also type in Equifax Freeze as well as TransUnion Freeze, and you'll be able to freeze all of your accounts by following those. All right. So I want to make sure that everyone is protected during this time period because during the pandemic, that's when a lot of things such as identity theft occur. But we make sure that we protect our uh, our clients information with an encrypted um, database so that no one can actually breach our database. Let's say have a, a lot of coding, which is it's going to be very, very high, it's going to be highly unlikely that they won't even be able to do that. So I'll say it to say that I want you all to know that you can still get your social security card even though um, you, don't, you don't have it. You can get it quickly. But make sure that if you don't have it, go to the website, apply today, and go ahead and get that so you can have it not just for now but for future dates. All right, family? So if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us at credithealing at gmail.com or you can go to www.credithealing.org to get started. Peace.